Yes, viewers outside there. Good evening, everyone. You're watching DBT Live. Discover the beauty of Tesla with me, Lucky Eddie. But of course, today we have we are paying an abrupt visit to a lawyer who stood for speaker among Anita. Yes, of course, we have not informed him. Come, let's go. Cody, 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 Cody. Yes, guys, like I told you, we are paying a, a visit to a lawyer who stood for the speaker, Anita Among, and today we here we are. This is his office. Good evening, sir. Yes, good evening. This is DBT Live Discover the Beauty of Teso. Yes, please. Thank you so much for paying a visit to me. I would uh, prefer you say the lawyer who's always standing for the speaker. Oh, a lawyer who always stands for the speaker. Yes. <laughs> I'm always defending her. When oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, please, it's uh, my great pleasure having you here. So, basically, Honorable Anita Mong is a God-fearing leader. That's why she even visited the Pope recently. I'm sure you heard about that because you journalists are always interested on stories uh, that are, are happening in our country. So, remember, a good leader must fear God. Then, secondly, honor everyone. Thirdly, watch over the constituency. Do all things in humility. Lead as a servant. Set a, set a Christ-like example and guard their hearts. So uh, she falls among that. And as I speak this, I speak this without fear or contradiction because God's word tells us that not to fear because he is the ultimate authority. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons. He deposes the kings and raises up and gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. God-fearing leaders practice what they preach and lead by example, remember. As quoted by Winston Churchill that, Never give in, never give in, never, never give in nothing. Great or small, large or pretty, never give in. When you read the Bible, the book of Matthew chapter 20, verse 25 to 28 jesus tells his disciples that a good leader should not exercise authority over people instead whoever wants to become great must lower himself to be a servant remember good leaders realize that serving others is the only only way to lead with a pure heart free of pride and arrogance so uh, when you to look at our leaders, it's only a few people who follow that, or rather who follow what the Bible teaches us in the book of Matthew. But when you to look at Anita Mong, she does all this. She's actually corresponding with the teachings of the Bible. She is loyal, she is generous, she is submissive, she is a giver. When she finds you on the way suffering, she gives you what she is able to give. When she has something small and she's seeing people suffering, she makes sure that she gives people at least part of what she can in order to solve the problem that people are going through. She is, uh, she, she is actually very, very, very generous to people. Her heart lies on the hands of people. That's why you see that she's blessed. She's acquiring all that. It is because God is happy with what she's being. She's like a God-sent person. She's saving the helpless people. She's saving the voiceless people. Thank you so much.